Hello, hello. I am Dr. Stephanie Shuttler. I am a wildlife biologist. My dog is squeaking his toy in the black background. Um, I've been in this field since 2003, and today I'm answering a pretty straightforward question about how many hours a week do wildlife biologists work. My channel is all about empowering scientists and giving advice, especially to wildlife biologists, and um, also inspiring you to conserve our natural world. Let's just get straight to it. How many hours? Um, so there's always going to be exceptions to the rules, but I would say that on average, um, people definitely work over 40 hours, maybe in the 50 to, honestly, I've heard of people working 80 hours. I don't know if that's an exaggeration or not. Um, I have tended to prioritize self-care and, um, definitely do not work 80 hours. It's funny because my dad is an entrepreneur, he owns his own store, and I would see him always take his work home with him, and um, or just always like carry the weight of like owning a business. And I grew up thinking like, oh, I don't want that responsibility. But being a scientist, you kind of have that on you. There is always, always, always work that you can be doing. Um, to advance your career. You can always be writing more scientific papers. You can always be writing more grants to get more money for your research projects. The hours you'll work will definitely vary according to the um, degree of expertise that you have in terms of both a um, academic degree, but also experience, and the type of place that you work at as well. If you're in a more upper management level, a post PhD position, you are probably going to be working more than 40 hours a week, like I said, to make sure that your um, lab is funded and that your research is funded, even like little things like answering emails on the weekend. If you are um, more entry level, you will probably be doing field work um, or you may be doing field work at least part of your time. This can again also be over 40 hours, especially if you're doing seasonal field work because there's only a certain um, window of time when you can study something per se. So for example, in graduate school, um, we worked, one of our labs studied um, salamanders. So um, you really need to do a lot of field work during the time um, when they're most active, which is not going to be winter. I'm sure there are nine to five jobs for wildlife biologists, and there are probably some that don't take their work home with them. But I would say expect at least some point in your career to definitely be working over 40 hours a week. That's it for today. I am writing a book on becoming a wildlife biologist that will go more into depth about um, the different careers and especially my experience being on the job market, how I chose this career path and the types of experiences that I've had. If you want to get on that list, just go to fancyscientist.com and sign up for my weekly newsletter and you'll be the first to know about when my book comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you found this helpful, please share share it and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any more updates. Thanks guys. See you soon. Bye.